Good day, everybody, and welcome to another episode on my YouTube channel. I am Dupa Daddy. Today, we will be looking at Football Manager 22 features. Very excited about this game. Played every single version since Football Manager got released and prior to that, Championship Manager. You would have seen at the start of the video, the trailer, just to get your heart racing, pulses up and ready to roll. Because under the day, that's what it should be like on Football Manager. Oh, the stories I've heard of friends and family, of what they've done, dressing up in suits for their Champions League final, or battling out with friends, brothers, having fights, who's the best in the household. At the end of the video, there will be a feature video from the Football Manager website. I'm trying to decide who to start with. Might start off with a challenge team who's been down, uh, one of the big clubs. Maybe it's Chef Wednesday. I support Chef Wednesday. Maybe try and get them back to finally back to the promised land of the Premiership. Why don't you make a comment below in a suggestion of a team you feel that you would like to see me manage? New gameplay features. Feel the difference on and off the pitch with new progressive ways to develop your own brand of football at your club. Headline features. So match experience, data hub, staff meetings, deadline day. Ooh, deadline day. I haven't really felt that great on the deadline day on of the past football managers. So it'd be interesting to see what they're going to put on that. Maybe really get your heart beating of can you get the deal across the line type environment. We will see on the pitch. So a new animation engine elevates match days with far most realistic dribbling and player movement. A brand new pressing system brings a new level of intelligence, unlocking smarter decision making and realism. Now with FIFA 22 Hypermotion, they've really tried making it realistic and people are finding it really good. You can check on my FIFA 22 playlist up here. So it'd be interesting to see maybe the FIFA 22 idea of trying to make this realism, gameplay, animations. It's maybe that's what we want as a customer, right? We do. We want to feel the experience. We want to feel for football. I just hope that they don't put too much of like this gameplay and takes it away from the management side of it. Because end of the day, Football Manager is a management sim and we want to be managing things within our team. We don't want to go into a game and it looks too much like FIFA, but the management part of it is just crap. So we will see. Hopefully they have been pretty good lately of getting better and better of realism. So we will see. I'm just going to probably pick out some bits here. Let's take a look at what makes for new animation so special. So new animation engine, not going to go into details, we're just going to have a quick look. Dribbling, we've already touched on the fact that football animations have been vastly improved. Yeah, because sometimes animations can just be very repetitive. I don't really watch my games. I might watch like for key highlights, but maybe if the animations are a bit more, I don't know if they've got like a million animations or something like that. It might make the game a bit more realistic, make you actually want to watch the whole games. But as I'm just, I think most of people out there will only watch a full game if you're in Champions, if you've taken, I don't know, Bradford City from League Two up to the Champions League final in five years, you get in Champions League and you want to watch it. But then again, if you're superstitious, again like me, you find a way of playing, you find a way of winning your games that from my experience, you change it for that one special occasion and you lose. And then when that happens again, you're like, yep, I'm not watching that full game. I'm sticking to my key highlights because I know that I'm winning. And then you win it and then it becomes superstitions. And for years and years, you carry on that trait. Pressing. For FM22, we've added pressing triggers as part of a complete overall of the existing pressing system. This means that players on the defending team have much greater awareness of when they should or and shouldn't press. Sounds good. Let's move on further. AI announcements. Again, you can, you guys can go to this website. I will leave a link down below if you don't know where to go. Wide centre backs. So I guess that's playing three five two, or five three two, but attacking wing backs on that side. Um, additional improvements. A new chapter. The so match improvements that we've laid out over the course of this blog re represent the beginning of new chapter for Football Manager Match Engine. Quite simply, for FM22 match engine, it's the best that FM has ever seen. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.
Powered by data, find your winning edge in all new data hub with the same analytics and reporting methods that the biggest and best clubs are using in the professional game. Create your own custom dashboard packed. Oh, I have to stop there because I'm an analyst. I love data. So I'm going to be using that dashboard like hellfire. So data hub. For new home of all your data, you immediately notice that the data hub takes its place as a new addition on the sidebar in FM22, cementing it as one of the core areas of the game. Okay, what do we get there? Get more out for your analysts. Ah, yes. So we have all those analysts, all for science technicians and whatnot nowadays in the game. But actually, what have they ever given us? Maybe just a hidden stat of your scouting team or your coaching team and for feedback that your coach might give you on your opposition tactics to try and help you find their weaknesses and use your strengths against them. I've utilized that before in for the last couple of football managers, but what have we ever used for analysts really for? So maybe we can set up stuff. If you're a type of manager that consistently seeks marginal gains, then the ask for function is made for you. The ask for system provides a wealth of potential stats and visual information that allows you to fully customize your own suite of data analysis to deliver for information. Okay, so it's basically delivering for information you kind of want to see on a whatever basis on your team, on players, scouting. Okay, that's good. Team player and performance analysis. Let's just look at this pictures. What we got here. XG possession. Okay, so you can kind of pinpoint your areas like it. New visualizations. Backroom rewrite. Interesting. Based on real world insight from managers across the professional game, new true to life staff meetings allow you to learn on your backroom staff, lean on your backroom staff more than ever. With the frequency set by you, your inner circle gatherings now provide a greater level of support and I'll get also. Bringing in for back, right backroom staff, probably to see your needs of tactical coaching. And obviously, if you want to focus on youth, you bring in youth experts. If you want to focus on experience, you bring in, I don't know, mental coaches, maybe bringing up that leadership. Also, staff meetings. I'm a manager. I hold weekly meetings and then obviously ad hoc meetings to deal with issues there and then. What do you, for meetings look like? Suggestions presented to you in staff meetings can be dealt with variety of ways. You can accept them straight away, agree to action them after the meeting. Oh, I like that because I wonder if they've done that with the player chat because you know that sometimes you're like, mm, I'm not too sure what to say there. Maybe I could just go away, have a look, come out of it, have a look and I'll give you a better answer later. Maybe with the player interactions as well when you have conversations with your players and they put you on a spot and you're like, oh, I don't well, don't quite want to upset you, but I do in a way because you peed me off. Um, but then you don't know if it's going to upset for more out of the team, which you go on a winning streak and you pick one play off, one play off. And then you go on a losing streak and you go, right, okay, new save. <laughs> because it just breaks, breaks up team spirit and you just can't get your winning streak back. And yeah, then you have threatened with sack and... So, for, so you do have to be careful and I do hope that they've put something in when you're talking to someone, to a player as well, not just your staff that you can pull back. Coaching. When first stepping in managerial hot seat at your club, your backroom team will address things like sus, like suitable captains and vice captains, your best set piece takers and areas you should get your players to work on in training. For all the training activities, your staff recommend including player trait alterations and improve. Okay, I thought this was part of it anyway. As the season progresses, they'll also flag anyone struggling for fitness and suggest adjustments. Okay, adjustments, nice. But how about if you put on auto? Unless they kind of want you to kind of action it now, but you can take on suggestions of your staff. Be good. Recruitment is one of the best ways. Okay, we've got recruitment of staff. We've improved that a little bit. Development for third section of staff meeting covers player development. Okay, staffing. Last but no means least, the final section of your weekly staff meetings is dedicated to staffing itself. A new feature in your calendar. Remember, if you're on a fan of big meetings, don't worry. Your staff can always send you some information to your inbox instead, but not all of it. Okay, cool. So you don't have to attend them all. Brilliant. Deadline drama. Nice and yellow and black. Makes it feel like that Sky Sports deadline day. Feel for highs and lows of one of the most dramatic fixtures in the football calendar with a redesigned deadline day experience. Replicating for 
unpredictability and immersion of the transfer window's climax. The revamp completely changes the dynamic, as does a rewrite of player values and a host of new scouting improvements. Transfer deadline day, seven hours remaining. Quite like that feature. It's quite dark though, but funky. If you take part in for transfer deadline day, a brand new dedicated transfer deadline day skin will appear, complete with left hand menu icon, countdown clock, yellow and black branding. I wonder if they put on like not a live timer, but like a, um, I don't know, 10 times timer. That actually can fasten it, slow it down and things like that. And it's just live. For main deadline day screen features four key sections focused on your club's business. Agent offers, attracting interest, contracts, expiring and listed players. Transfer news, agent offers, bloody agents, greedy bastards. Immerse yourself in the drama. So that is it. A nice little taste. I'm pretty sure that there's probably going to be a bit more details as we get closer to it. Not that far away. I think we're two, three weeks away from release. So I'm looking forward to it all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Remember, leave me a comment below of what team you would like to see me manage. And now that's enough of me. Here's the feature video. Have a good day.